Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 16th of November and this time I'm bringing you something a little bit different regarding Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Unity. Us and many many YouTubers and gamers and games journalists and whatever else have been talking at length about Unity the last few days so you don't need me to talk about the launch anymore. We all know how bad it's been. But what you may not know is that Ubisoft are actually considering reviewing their review policy as one of the stranger things that happened was the embargo for Assassin's Creed Unity, which actually didn't lift until basically the game came out, or even a full day after it in some cases. Now, we still don't know the reasons for this rather strange embargo, however, Ubisoft is insisting nothing untoward going on, and as I said earlier, are even considering uh, reviewing their policy. And they said, quote, the, game, the nature of games themselves and the way they are being reviewed is changing as evidenced by games like Assassin's Creed Unity, Destiny and The Crew, games that have significant online components. Having the online elements available and having populated worlds is essential to creating a representative and complete experience for reviewers. Achieving this prior to launch is incredibly complex, which is why some games are being reviewed much closer as it was, was the case with Destiny even after the game's launches. We are working to adapt our services and communication with consumers accordingly, both by changing the way we work with reviewers and by offering customers open betas or other early access to some games, also they have the information they need and want. Now, I'm glad that they're considering more open process with their bug testing and whatnot. Unity obviously needed it, um, but comparing it Unity to Destiny is a bit low, IMO, simply because, well, with Destiny, there was more than enough cause for it. It's an MMO, essentially, and having populated worlds is critical. You cannot get the full experience of the game without other people. However, even though Assassin's Creed Unity does have the co-op component, it is still a mostly single-player title, and it's entirely possible that the embargo could have said you can review the single player from this date but do not review the co-op component until this date which would have been after the game came out and that would have been more than reasonable you don't need other people to review the single player as long as you don't say anything about the co-op until the co people are actually playing the game I don't see why that would be a problem you know, Ubisoft still haven't addressed the odd embargo but at least they're open to changing it and changing the way they work I just really hope we don't see a repeat of this as given how buggy the game was we really could have done with some prior warning and obviously the fact that they're considering open betas is definitely a thumbs up as well as of course gamer testing can always help and maybe get rid of some of these problems before it's released to that world en masse of course no launch is perfect there's still going to be issues that only occur when everyone ever is playing the game but getting real people um, who aren't the devs playing the game en masse playing it will definitely help iron out some of the issues that, of course, we have seen with Unity and other titles as well. So hopefully we see some positive changes for Ubisoft in the future. I'll definitely be keeping my eyes peeled, as I'm sure many of you will be. I think this whole launch has definitely done some damage to their rep, so they're obviously looking to save face at the moment and get some back of the goodwill that they have lost, and changing their review policy and their embargoes and betas and whatnot is definitely one way to do it. Anyway, that is me done for this video, and I'll see you next time.